there's Marvin again. Uh, 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 but I see, I swear in my danger red. Danger red shirt. That means what I'm going to say is pretty important. Now, you know, some of the uh, of people my age remembers this because we had, a, you know, uh, we didn't have so much credit and everything going on. Then back then, money was money. But even before us, money was still just money. Now, th this is papers. That's all this is, is papers. It says, in God we trust. But it really should be saying, in peoples we trust. In the United States we trust. Because, because it's just paper. It just, it just burns. It's, it's not even backed by gold like it used to be backed by gold. The problem is this. I've been hearing talk that people's upset about the about the uh, about the stimulus package. You know, the one coming from the one come from Congress. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be getting lots of money. Well, they just passed that law, and they're going they're going to give some money to help businesses and stuff like that. But they're also going to give us six hundred dollar checks. Everybody in America gets six hundred dollar checks, and a lot of people think that we should be giving twelve uh, uh, thousand two thousand dollar checks to the peoples. Well, you know, uh, a lot of people are forgetting uh, what the problem with that is. Let's just make sure we understand that. Now, here's a photo of a woman burning money in Germany. Why? Because they had a big war and then they, the, uh, the rest of the world made them pay for it. And they had, to, well, they thought they'd just print some money and then it was. Wow. And they tried to do it and guess what? It didn't work. Just got worse and worse and worse that people's got hungry, people's got desperate, and they follow this really, uh, really mean, disgusting man with the mustache. Yeah, we, we, we know that that's bad. Oh, right, here's another one. Here's a whole wheel bowl of money. Now, this wheel bowl of money, this is, this is uh, money that to buy one loaf of bread. And then they were using it for toys and everything. So, so uh, I know, I know some of you guys out there don't know this because you guys are involved in other types of way to get your information. You get it from one side or the other, and, and that's generally what you do. So you need to be more, more thoughtful about what you're grabbing. Now, listen, I was in the same boat. You know, I used to sit back and listen to only one voice. And I made some mistakes doing that, mistakes in my thinking. So, but we all do that as we're growing up. But here's a big deal. Mitch McConnell did not give the money because he thought, he, he believes that the, the money is going to go to people who don't need it. Now, we all know that that happened last time. Hey, I got the check. My wife and I got the check. But the problem is, is we didn't need it. There's people out there hungry. There's people out there that really do need this money. Now, the problem is, is the government's making this money just like uh, out of nowhere. You know, the impeachment of, of Clinton was like almost $69 million. And then the, the impeachment and the, the investigation of Trump was almost $20 million. Wow. And, 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 and we, we didn't make that money. We didn't earn it. We borrowed it. Now, if we borrow money and we can't pay it back, we just go bankrupt and people around us go out. They just have to suck it up. But but if the government goes bankrupt, that's bad. That means we're in real trouble. And the thing is, is we're, we're borrowing money that we don't have. We're just making this money up. Now, I, I just remember having a problem with that. So if, if, I was told never borrow money on something that's not going to be util, utilized. or uti, I, Utility, that's work. Utility. So you don't want to be putting putting a, a, a vacation on a credit card. I mean that you're not going to pay back for a long time. You really don't want to be doing food. Sometimes it has to. I know that. But you don't want to buy things that aren't going to have value with the next day. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be careful with this money. But the big deal here is is the uh, the people's needs the money now. I myself. I'm for the stimulus, but my problem is, is who gets the money? Now, here's what I, I suggest to everybody. Everybody here, if you really, really want to help, then when you get that stimulus check, then give it to someone else if you don't need it. Now, don't go put it in the, in the bank and don't go put, buy stock or anything like that because that's not stimulus. Stimulus makes things go. What you need to do is to take that money and then Oh, make sure it gets used. Now, 
I don't care. If you've you got a family member who needs the money, well, fine. As long as you tell them to use the money for something new, like food and or the rent or something, keep everything going. But also look for other places that they can use the money and make sure that if you need the money, use it. That's what it's for. There's hunger people out there. And there's people without houses and people and the restaurants. If if you really want to help somebody, go to a restaurant and, and buy two thousand dollars worth of cards and, and give them to somebody. And then and then let them go there and get food. Or maybe in in just do something with the money other than put it in the bank. And don't, whatever you do, if you don't need it, don't use it. Pass it on to somebody who does need it. And then, as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, give it to family. Give it to, I mean, I mean, family who needs it. Then you have, they have to promise not to go buy a new Nintendo with it. Uh, unless they are going to stimulate Nintendo. Well, that gets into a whole nother can of worms. So, this is Marvin telling you, uh, please, when you get your stimulus check, if you need it, use it. Use it. But if you don't need it, give to somebody else. Mitch McConnell was right. Last time we threw money at people, and and a lot of people, even some dead people, got money and they didn't need it. So let's think about what we're doing next time we hand out the stimulus tech. Okay? All right. It's Marvin. Say goodbye and say, hey, 2020 is gone. Tomorrow is 2021. And it's up to us to make it a better 2021. Bye.